Hey guys, this is Micah from Total Control Innovations. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to connect your phone to the DJI Phantom Vision app. The first step in order to connect your phone to the Phantom 2 Vision app is to power on the remote controller, power on the Wi-Fi range extender, and power on the Phantom itself. Once the Phantom has gone through its startup sequence with the LED lights, you'll be able to go into your phone Wi-Fi settings and this will be different depending on which model of phone you have, either Android or iPhone. And you'll be able to locate the Phantom underneath the Wi-Fi settings. And we've located the Phantom. And you simply click on the Phantom itself and it will begin to connect. Once it has connected, you go to the DJI Vision app and open. You are able to turn the phone horizontal in order to get a better view of the camera. And as you can see on the top, it is connected to the Phantom itself. To view the camera, we simply click on the camera icon and it will begin to show the live feed from the camera itself. And once the live feed has begun to show, you are able to adjust the roll of the camera right from the Vision app as shown. You are also able to use the phone's internal gyroscope in order to determine the roll of the camera by simply moving the phone up or down as shown. Now that we've connected the Phantom 2 Vision Plus to the Phantom Vision app, we'll demonstrate some of the features available in the DJI Phantom Vision app. On the top of your screen, you will notice there are a lot of icons displayed that show various states of the copter and the Wi-Fi range extender itself. The very top is the Wi-Fi connection from your phone to the Wi-Fi range extender. Right next to it, we have the battery percentage of the craft itself. Below that we have the SD card status that indicates if there is an SD card inserted into the Phantom 2 Vision Plus camera unit or the Phantom 2 Vision camera unit. Right next to that we have the number of GPS satellites that the Phantom has acquired currently. Below that we have the per battery percentage of the Wi-Fi range extender. Below that we have the number of photos left. That is just an estimate, uh, it's not 100% accurate. Below that we have the photo capture button or the shutter button. Right below that we have the, the video start and stop recording button. And below that the, the cog wheel indicates the settings of the Vision app where you are able to change all of the video settings and photo settings from 1080p to 720p, the ISO, the white balance, and, and numerous other features as well. And lastly we have the hide or display the toolbar which shows the radar and all of your flight parameters on the bottom of the screen as well. We will now demonstrate some of the features of the DJI Vision app which is available for the Phantom 2 Vision and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. The first feature we'll be demonstrating will be the built-in ground station. Uh, this feature is easiest to access when the copter is turned off due to the fact that the Wi-Fi range extender will not allow internet access to access the Apple or Google Maps for the ground station itself. So right now we do have the Phantom turned off in order to preload the maps for our flight. In order to access the ground station itself via the Vision app, you want to go into the camera mode and swipe over and you'll see that the Vision app will load the either Apple or Google Maps depending on your device that you have. Right now we have loaded our current location. Um, this is the satellite view of our office. You can also change the views by clicking on the icon in the top right with the layers. You can choose hybrid, which shows satellite and cross streets as well in order to better 
situate yourself where you're looking to fly or you can choose standard view which just shows streets and the outlines of buildings no satellite pictures thanks for watching check out our youtube channel total control innovations by clicking the link below or visiting us at tcidrones.com